Hello, I'm Takafumi Anegawa, President of Chadema Association. Thank you for this opportunity to speak to you about Chadema Association and our technology. Chadema is the name of the charging standard and its organization. Chadema standards define how a DC charger and electric vehicles speak to each other. We are sharing the benefit of DC fast charging to support EV propagation to market since 2009. We developed the technology, certify chargers, and promote electromobility. But the association itself does not make, sell, install, or operate chargers because we are a non profit organization. Chadema Association has been an official observer of the United Nations Conference of the Parties since 2018. Chadema Fast Charger are the most popular EV fast charging infrastructure in the world. You can find almost 50,000 Chadema Charger points in 98 countries and over 15,000 in Asian Pacific region. During over a decade of our market experience, our family has expanded. Chademo now covers a wide variety of power range, from ultra high power to very low power, all in DC, offering optimal standards for targeted application areas. For high power charging for buses, trucks, and beyond, we offer Chaoji which is the new plug being developed. We have the original Charimon that was conceived for passenger and commercial EVs like vans. We also have a standard for e-motorcycles and e-rickshaws. We call it electric two- and three-wheeler Charimon. It provides low voltage, compact, and lightweight charging and has already become an IEC standard. Charemo E2 and 3-wheeler charging protocol is the only existing DC international standard, which is tailored to this specific segment up to 120 voltage. The last member of the Charemo family is for the e-bike and e-kick scooters called e-park, or electrically powered assisted cycles. In the Indian electric vehicle standards, there are more or less four main categories marked with circle. Heavy duty vehicles using automated pantograph connection. High power charging station using connecting cable like Chademo, pipe bay charging point, and light EV charging points. To the right hand side, we have listed our standards corresponding to each category. Charemo family is perfectly much Indian EV standards category. When you look at the sheer volume and the environmental impact, notably to the air pollution, two and three feelers seems to us the most impactful segment with an immediate effect for the Indian market today. You can see the retail data here. In the fiscal year 22 only, over 20 times as many E2 and 3 wheelers were sold as compared to EVs. What are the advantage of low power DC shared public infrastructure? It is economic and sustainable. Vehicles become more affordable because there is no longer an onboard charger. The vehicle is of lighter weight and less expensive. And it is innovative. We understand the Indian government is also considering potentially standardizing battery packs to enable swapping on a large scale. However, I'm afraid standardizing battery packs will hinder future improv improvement of battery system. Another point is user preference. Some consumers prefer to keep their own battery they are concerned about the state of the health of the battery system. The most suitable charging depends on the location, duration of stay, and driver's needs. 
and it is not recommended to plan only by looking at geographic location and the number of cars in the neighborhood. Base charging takes place where the EV is parked for a long time, like at a home or office. For most people, this is largely sufficient. Destination charge is literally when you charge at your destination. Movies, theaters, gym, or restaurant can be a few hours and overnight in a hotel. The type of charger should depend on how much time you spend and how much energy you need during your stay. If you just need a bit of top up to go home, you can have that in a couple of hours while you work out at the gym. Generally, DC fast charging can be most useful as pathway charging along the motorways because it can give you maximum charging in a short time. After having driven for two hours, for example, you may spend 30 minutes supplemental charge. However, unless you are a professional driver, your daily driving distance is limited and you may not need to fast charge ever. That is why some people say fast chargers are like insurance, which is something you must have to alleviate the range anxiety. We can help your construction of charging infrastructure by sharing all experience charging member in the world. We don't want to compare our standard for our business. We are not OEMs or charger manufacturers to sell those products in India. We want to achieve e-mobility society in each country through empowerment. That is creating business opportunity for the local industry. This can start with local development, certification, sales, installation, operation, and maintenance of EVs and chargers to develop local competencies. How do we in intend to achieve this? Starting with the localization of our certification system. We have in place an impartial third-party certification system. Having Having the technical standard is one thing, but having a testing protocol in place for guaranteeing safety and interoperability is also extremely important. We are only organization to set up such a system. We are happy to, to have ARAI Arai, as our certification partner in India. We release our IPs to all our members and provide technical assistance for local customization of the specification. We believe this approach will eventually lead to the cost reduction for the local market while not compromising on the quality. Finally, by directional power transfer function. Chademo is the only international standard that enables bidirectional power transfer with product already available and validated in the market. This is called V2G, vehicle to grid, also known as VGI, vehicle grid integration. It is the capability not only to charge but also to discharge from the EV battery to home to office building was a grid by a bidirectional charger. When we talk fast charge, it is typically 50 kilowatt to 100 kilowatt or more. But when we do bidirectional charging, it's much lower, say up to 10 to 11 kilowatt like your AC home charger but using DC. In March 2011, the Great East Japan earthquake hit and EVs were utilized as a mean of transport for medical personnel and restoration assistance in the affected areas. This was the beginning of our V2G development. In recent years, 
Power outages caused by natural disaster have become a serious social problem in Japan, and a bidirectional charger and an EV serving as emergency mobile power supply is an effective solution. If you, if you have an EV and a bidirectional charger combined with rooftop PV panel, you can optimize energy use. This can be done at an individual home or office, or this can also be at a re renewable generation site. The principle is the same. Store the energy in the EV battery when the sun is shining and use it when the sun has set. When the electricity price is high or when the grid is congested, so that you can save on your energy bills and reduce load to the grid. At the last part of my presentation, I'd like to share Chatmo guiding principle with you. User first. We develop technology that responds to users' various charging needs. Safety is extremely important. Our members are required to respect strict guidelines set by the association to ensure electrical safety under all operating conditions. Innovation. We never stop innovating to better respond to the quickly charging market demands. Empowerment. We hope to see our global technology developed in the local context by local players so that electrical mobility becomes adapted to the local needs and becomes sustainable. Last but not least, we value collaboration with all like-minded e-mobility stakeholders. Thank you for your attention.